Hey everyone, it's Bonnie. Happy Saturday. I am back. It's funny. I actually have a window next to me that looks out onto the porch that my mom and I um, do our videos on. And it's funny because we just finished the leaves and I'm watching this tree outside my window and there's a squirrel up there and he's just throwing leaves down on my lawn. I'm like, no, don't. <laughs> I feel like fall is like this endless collection of leaves. And it, while it's fall outside, I'm like, my gosh, we're just like all about Christmas. And I feel like I'm I'm moving Christmas even farther today because I am reviewing champagne toast, which feels like a New Year's scent to me. Who else feels like champagne toast is like all New Year's? So I feel like champagne toast is like, it's kind of a neglected Bath and Body Works scent. It shows up so often that we're all kind of so used to it. We're like, yeah, champagne toast. But it's actually a really good scent. Um, I've actually been wearing it today just to kind of get a little bit of a um, a little bit of a better handle on reviewing it for you guys. So last Christmas we had this gorgeous collection. This was um Gosh, there were a, a, a there were a lot of scents that came out in this pattern. Um, I think we had a black cherry merlot in this. Do we have party? Was party dress one of these, or um, black tie? I don't know. I'd have to bring out the whole collection. But we had this gorgeous, gorgeous, sparkly collection. I think this is my favorite packaging for the champagne toast because you know me I like things that sparkle it's pink I just think it's gorgeous so last year the notes in champagne toast were pink champagne black currant chambrod sparkling nectarine and sugared musk um so they were a little bit different than this year I smell bubbly I smell a deep berry I smell that kind of nectarine thing going on. It's definitely um, a fruity, bubbly, happy scent. So then for Mother's Day this year, we got Champagne Toast back. It's funny, they're always bringing Champagne Toast and Black Cherry Merlot back like over and over again. Um, so I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I'm kind of okay with it because I like the scent. But on the other hand, it's like I would like something a little different in these collections. So Champagne Toast for Mother's Day was a little different. It was bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. So they replaced the nectarine with the tangerine. I did like this bottle style, too. I thought it was super pretty. Um, it matched the Mother's Day motif really well. It's a little different. Um, they're close, but there is definitely a difference. I think the one from last Christmas smelled a little bit more like a bright berry punch. Where I think this one, without that berry scent in it, it kind of tones it down a little bit. I like the Christmas one better. The sugared musk, I think, gave it just a really nice, like, frosty, sugary, almost, I'm going to say this, but I, I, I don't even know if I should say this out loud. It has a little bit, last year's, of, like, that Pink Fairy gumdrop sugar in it. It's not Pink Fairy gumdrop. I'm not comparing the two necessarily, but it has a little bit of that, like, super sugary scent in it from last year. I, I don't get that as much in the Mother's Day one that came out. Um, this one smells a lot more muted. So now we got it back again in this diamond collection. It's funny because I don't like the soap bottles with these like diamondy, um, I don't know, indentions on it. It's funny because my mother loves them. She's like, oh, these are so pretty. Look at the way sun comes through. And I'm like, I don't know. Give me my like graphic designs. I like the shower gel design a lot. I feel like this one's a little too plain for my taste. Um, it's very elegant. It's very classy. It looks like old world a little bit. But I don't know. It doesn't really do anything for me. I also have the rose water and ivy, which I like the pink. And then we had the cactus blossom in that design. 
and I think we're getting Forever Red. So I'm like, it's okay. Um, <coughs> allergies. I've been out doing leaves all day. Um, I like the shower gel in this one. So I feel like the sugariness and that like pop is, is back in this version. I think the I don't know why. The Mother's Day version just was really, really bland to me. And I'm not really sure why. It just smelled like plain cream with a little bit of fruit in it. I think they brought back that fruity punch. And let me tell you, the Glotion this year is amazing. I think this is my favorite product in the line this year. Oh my gosh, not the whole Christmas line, the Champagne Toast line. <laughs> gotta, gotta clarify that. Although this one is a good one, you guys. So... It's a really pretty pink. You can't really see on my screen here. It's like a light pink, and it's super thick and whippy, which I love. And then I got way too much on. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I over, I overdid it. Um, oh, my gosh. It smells amazing, though. That, like, fruity, sugary punch is back. I would say it's like a hair less sugary than it was last year, but I definitely get like that awesome, like fruity, sugary, punchy, cheery, happy scent. So I think they did a really good job with um, bringing Champagne Toast back to its original format um, from this one. So I'm super happy with the scent. I've kind of been wearing this all day smells amazing. So I, I, I'm a big yay on champagne uh, toast for Christmas. It's funny. I almost think it's a first cousin of the snowy peach berry. The only difference is snowy peach berry is peach. And this is like um, that nectarine, tangerine. I don't know. Is there a difference between a nectarine and a tangerine? Um, it's kind of, <laughs> I always wonder that. It's like, hmm, I'll have to look that up. But anyway, um, this one definitely, like I said, sparkly, happy, bubbly, and it has a lastingness to it. Like I was wearing the Glotion pretty much all day and it smells amazing. Um, so I'm giving, so to, to rank these, I think last year I would have given this like a nine and a half out of 10. The Mother's Day collection was more of like a six or seven. I, I didn't really like the Mother's Day collection one. And I think we're back up to like a nine, except I didn't like the packaging as much. I prefer this packaging for um, the Champagne Toast this year. So if you like Champagne Toast, I think you're going to like this year's version. And I'm really happy they got the Glotion. So that is my take on Champagne Toast. Check it out. I am burning... Christmas cider. I didn't expect to like this one as much as I like it. I will be back with my Christmas cider review soon. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.